Jennifer Dowker is a boat captain who gives tours of shipwrecks, so she knows all about sunken treasure. Sometimes she has to put on diving gear to clean the windows of her glass bottom boat. Recently, she made a discovery that shocked her. The color caught my eye. It was a small green bottle at the bottom of Michigan's Sheboygan River that's nearly 100 years old, and there was a message in it. It was folded and rolled, and, and the bottle had a cork in it. So the cork was pretty badly deteriorated. Uh, the bottle was full, about two thirds full of water. So I knew it was going to be fragile paper to get out of there. Jennifer showed us how she delicately pulled the water soaked paper from the bottle. I was thinking I don't want to rip it. The paper was really wet. Lo and behold, it turned out to be a long forgotten message from 1926. Well, the person who finds this bottle return this paper to George Morrow, Sheboygan, Michigan, and tell where it was found. November 1926. Can you believe it was in the water for 95 years? Jennifer posted the letter and photos on her Facebook page, Nautical North Family Adventures. And one of those who saw it is Michelle Morrow Primo, the daughter of the man who wrote the message. He did a lot of sentimental things. Michelle drove five hours to meet Jennifer. <laughs> Who ever thought in a million years? <laughs> Michelle brought along a journal her dad had kept while serving in World War II. See how the writing here matches up with his writing there? I just can't believe that it's all in one piece after 95 years. So I found it just about right here. Michelle says um, she thinks she knows why her dad writer. threw the bottle into the river. It says November 1926. Yeah. His birthday's November 15th. I think he might have thrown this in the river on his 18th birthday. A bottle up from the depths that has now found its way home. It's like I found a lost treasure.